Hello everyone, this is Apple iOS Genius on YouTube. I'm um, just going to go through the overview of individuals or, or schools are trying to access Impact, IEP, um, SSM, SMS, and various other sites. So um, this is being performed on a Mac. It's pretty similar on uh, Windows machine as well, process-wise. Uh, and I will go ahead and continue here. So we're going to go ahead and see what kind of version of Java I have. This is running, going to be running Java 7.4, which is an older version. Right now we have 7.5.1. So here, as you can see, it is the current version of 7.4.5. Uh, when you're in this window for the Java control panel, uh, it's always advisable to go ahead and uh, uncheck the checkoff for updates automatically. You want to always uncheck that. Uh, you want to select do not check. Uh, because uh, Apple will sometimes, or even Java will sometimes automatically update this uh, without, with your knowledge and sometimes without your knowledge. So you want to always be careful with that. So you want to go over to the tab where it says security. And this is, again, this is going back to Java 7.4.5. Um, and if you go over to security, originally it's set as high and minimum rec recommended. You can move it down to medium, and this will allow you to visit your impact website. So we're going to go ahead and try with hi for a quick moment. I'm going to go ahead and put in my password. Okay, so this is just an overview. It's always advisable to go ahead and use Safari or Firefox. The more successful part is using Firefox and accessing your IEP. So we're going to go ahead, and this is Firefox. So now we're going to go to connect.cps.edu now for most teachers out there that they have access to be administrators on their computers they'll be able to do this uh, for those that do not please feel free to reach out to your tech support to get this uh, enabled or changed on your Mac uh, or PC so here I can go ahead and hit allow in the top right corner, allow and remember. It is loading right here. You always want to do uh, your version out of date is to be later. Um, so now it's going to give you a little spinning ball. It's going to keep trying. And in just a moment, we'll go ahead and fail on you. As you can see, the loading bar is moving very, very slow. That normally tends to tell you that it's going to go ahead and fail. Um, as soon as it fails, uh, we'll go ahead and continue on how to make this work for you. You can also see in the top left corner of your URL, there's a little Lego piece or icon. You can also click that and you can also select on continue allowing. And there you go. There is the error message that you are going to receive. So Java is unavailable. Please read for more dirt details. You can, but in regard to this SSL network extender, this is basically actually a Windows base. Uh, it is not something for Apple. Um, so on some Windows, you do actually need to install this. Uh, but it sometimes it doesn't really. Even on Windows 7, you don't really need to install it. Uh, because it actually automatically installs through the ITS remote access. So we're going to go ahead and clear recent version, everything. So we just want to make sure this is going to work. So I clear out my history. So then now we're going to go back to my system preferences, Java. You're going to go up here to update. Oops. You want to uncheck that. Do not check. And then as is, you can see here, Java 7 update 45. We're going to hit apply to... Okay, so the change there. And then you want to go over to security. You want to drop this down to medium. Hit apply. And then, of course, you may have to enter your password again for administrative rights. Uh, go ahead and hit OK. You're going to close this. You're going to go ahead and open it, Firefox all over again. Now when you're in Firefox, now we want to go to connect.cps.edu. Oh, correction. Wait a second. I found ways to make sure that it works. Visit Wordle. 
a colleague of mine has informed me uh, from different site that's if you visit Wordle, well, actually one of the school administrations, you'll get to this where it says Java applet is not running. So you want to go ahead and activate this and allow and remember. Once it's actually loading this bar, it's going to be working now. So you want to go ahead and hit run. There you go. You got that. Now go immediately to connect.cps.edu. Hit allow. Allow and remember. And then hit run. And it's always advisable to do this like right away. If you wait in between a few seconds, few minutes, uh, then it's not going to work. Ooh, doesn't look good so far. So we're going to go ahead and try this again. And as I can notice on my top menu bar, I'm running two different Java's. So if you can look up here, there's a Java here, there's a Java here. So that is the open console for 745. That's the one we want. And this is 745 as well. So let's see. I can't close those either ones. Okay, this is taking way too long. So we're going to go ahead and close that again. Uh, if we go over to Java, and sadly to say, oh, look at this, 745, and look, check for updates automatically, keeps checking itself automatically itself. Hmm. So there's an issue there. This is still at medium. Let's see, that's certificates. And this is the bit of annoying part, which I've informed many of the teachers, and this is a, a Java thing. This is not whatever you do with your computer or there was an update or whatever it just does not want to work from time to time and there's nothing you can really do except go through these specific processes and so forth to make things work so we're gonna go ahead and try this again it's still set at medium just to re-verify I'm gonna to go to security medium right you wanna hit that there. Let's go back to Firefox. Open. Right up here, I'm not running any specific Java's up here. Not that it would matter, but um, let's go back to Wordle. Make sure that plugin or applet is actually running. Uh, select whichever one you want. You could do a create your own, but that does take a moment. So here's telling you there's a new update. If you want to do a remind later. You want to get this running and then you want to go to cps.edu then this is going to open and come on what I'm trying to wait for are the prompts there it is there it is that looks a little bit better nope once you pass that little little tiny bar then now it's going to actually load up and these are the basically the trials and tribulations of getting into your IEP impact uh, for the connect.cps.edu. So now that I'm physically in, there you go. Um, currently, as myself as an IT admin for the one of the schools, I do not have access to this as uh, I don't use this. But this is mainly for the teachers, special ed teachers, and basically a lot of teachers and faculty members that are out there. Uh, in the school system of CPS. So that's basically how to use with Java 4.5 uh, update. Uh, I will make another video in a moment in how to use 7.5.1, the latest update of Java, and making sure that it works properly on your Mac and gets you connected. Uh, though again, there might be trials and tribulations as we see in our new video. Thanks and watching for Apple iOS Genius on YouTube. Good day.